find some shady crap on eBay. You can find some pretty good stuff on eBay, but using like eBay as a as a as a avenue to kind of sell public assets, things that have been that are supposed to help the public good, is kind of fundamentally wrong. So um, I say that to say, um, like I'm like kind of, but then like I'm on this other tip where I am. Um, like even though I reject this idea because going back to the masses too, whenever this man on the masses house, by like using this construct of what we have to go through, which who said we have to go through, jump through to get the things that we should already have, and one of those things is the um, the human rights ordinance that has been languishing. Um, and this is something I'm gonna like kind of like make a turn because I don't really share that much about myself, but because I feel very strongly about this, I am gonna like disclose some of my personal, you know, like things, and it's you know kind of it's very um, vulnerable. <laughs> so um, you know, this is something that I hope that the emergency manager will sign because. Because this is, even though like I, I, I hate the idea of emergency management is what we got, and it's the avenue that we have to use to try to get stuff done for now. And um, I hope that people sign this immediately because this is something that I feel that we cannot wait as citizens. Um, and I think it also like goes to what we talk about our legacy. Our legacy at the forefront of civil rights, and when we have Ignore that. Keep going. Keep going. Go up, Jake. And please say it. Please sign it.
We ran against each other. But he's the same age as my son, right? I talk to him all the time. So we've got a direct pipeline with the committee. But in all due respect, Mr. Brown, in the citywide scope of that, some of the same people who advise me are the ones who got us in this mess. Like they ain't really stealing from nobody. 
they look at it like, okay, this is a abandoned house, don't nobody want it, I'm going to get the scrap off this, so I'm going to go make me a couple of dollars. You know what I'm saying? But all this could have been prevented had we started protecting our neighbors from illegally being put out their houses in the first place. that prevents uh, these corporations from doing all this uh, corporate bullying, all right? And I shouldn't have to tell you all this, but the information is readily available. There's people pushing laws like uh, if the state for, uh, if the banks want to foreclose, they got to pay that city $20,000 for every foreclosure. Where y'all at on this? Ooh. Dang. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And then if the banks ain't paying $20,000, they simply can't foreclose in that city. All right. Now, you look around Flint, half of it is uh, like, like everybody's saying. The metal is scrapped off the houses, the plumbing is snatched out, the electricity is snatched out. It's a blight in the neighborhood. It make the whole thing look bad. Now, we don't have any jobs. Ain't nobody talking about creating no jobs. But y'all want to get more police, lock people up. Amen. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like y'all are sitting here in the state. And I feel like y'all make the citizens in the city. An enemy. Y'all converting people into criminals. This is a process. You know, and it's like y'all sworn the secrets and, and y'all y'all not gonna tell us nothing. Y'all just gonna keep taking orders from the top and that's nothing us over. You know what I mean? That's just how I feel about it. So you should smell civil disobedience. You should smell new uh, thinkers coming into development, new people reading law. You know, because sooner or later y'all will be held accountable for the crimes that y'all committing against the people of the So that's what we need to work on. 
And let's find out what can we do with a sound line to try to make our communities better. That's all I want to say, because I don't want to be redundant. There's a lot I could have said, but I don't want to say it all. But thank you for listening to me. Thank you. This concludes our meeting for this evening. Our next meeting will be Monday, March 12th at 5.30 p.m. here at the City Council. See you then. I'm Councilman Michael Sargentson, and I want to encourage everyone to come out Tuesday, February 28th, 6 p.m. at Nethercote School to the 8th Ward Emergency Manager Meeting. Here you will be able to ask questions, give your opinions, and be a part of the solution. Please show up Tuesday, February 28th, Nethercote School. Be a part of the solution, Tuesday, February 28th at 6 p.m. And remember, Flint is a great place to make better.